want you to look at that. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Juicy. Good morning, people of YouTube. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel here on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. In, <clears throat> I believe, the fourth or fifth day of my partial bodily government shutdown. Uh, getting over this flu. One day it'll be gone, I'm sure. Um... Yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for all the uh, subscriptions. Fuck, I got over 200 now, or at least 200. So uh, I never, never thought I'd see that day, boys and girls. Never, ever. I'm very grateful. So thank you very much. Um, I'm Canadian, so I spend a lot of time saying thank you and sorry. <laughs> That's just the way it is. But, uh, Mm hmm So yesterday was an interesting day. Um, very, very, very sick. Um, I'm also dealing with a fucking, some sort of rodent infestation in my little recording studio here, which I live in. Um, my house has had a pretty serious mouse problem ever since I moved in three and a half years ago, um, but they've never been a problem in, in my studio, it's always a kitchen thing, right, but we have all, all this really good pest control now, and uh, my room in the house is the one room where we don't have one of the pest control traps, so I guess all the mice are thinking, oh, well, this is a safe place to go, so they've been spending time <clears throat> with me, which is very stressful, because I have a very deep-seated phobia of mice and rats and uh, such and so forth. I'll go into that on a on a later date story. But um, mm-hmm. So yeah, dealing with all that sickness, fucking mice. Rat. Okay, this is what this is what really flipped me out yesterday. I set up like. I have like six mouse traps set up uh, strategic strategically around my apartment. Um, they're those kind. They're the little black ones that like snap shut. You know what I mean? Now, I had one of them set up in. Uh, I can't really describe how I had, I had set up along, along the wall. <coughs> Obviously, something got it because the whole thing disappeared. Like whatever got caught in it dragged it away and is somewhere in my apartment with this thing. <laughs> so, and I've been so sick, you know, on any other given day, I'd be turning the place completely inside out, trying to find what the hell the story was. But uh, I've been really sick, so I haven't even had the strength to get up and go pee at the time. <laughs> so <laughs> it's... Uh, Ah, it's just a mess here of people in the Sound Kitchen Studios, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> one really cool thing, well, two really cool things happened yesterday. Um, like I mentioned, uh, the B-side of my cassette uh, got released for digital download, uh, Corey Darling Corey. <clears throat> it's a harmonica, harmonica lo-fi blues album, and I actually got to listen to it in that format uh for the first time and uh, it's pretty much exactly what i wanted it to be so i'm pretty happy with that the like i've said the the modern blues heads are probably going to hate it but uh, there are a lot of blues fans that are really going to like it i think um, my record company loves it so if that says anything that says enough for me so, anyway, the link's in the description if you want to hear it. Uh, the video I made yesterday, the link is in uh, the comment uh, made by Dude OK, who is Kurt Gainford, the guy who runs my, my the record label I'm on, Merkwood Recordings. Um, but I, I, I would uh, 
deeply suggest that you go on the Googler and punch in Merkwood Recordings and uh, look at all the amazing free music they have to offer. Uh, free for download or pay what you can or however they run it. Um, I think, it, yeah, I think it's like a pay what you can kind of thing, but it's all, it's all free. Pay what you can means pay what you can. If you can't pay anything, can't pay anything. You know? I'd rather get my music out there than make a couple dollars. So, um, I think Merkwood made a grand total of something like, uh, 17 cents last year on their, their, their net profits or something like that. I'm not sure, but, uh, anyhow, it's all good. I hope you dig the album. If you listen to it, um, it's very lo-fi. I'm doing a gig Saturday night at this punks on pizza thing. I mentioned, I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to do the gig in that format. Like I'm going to bring my little, uh, where the hell is it? Oh, I got a very, oh yeah, there it is. I have this cool little battery powered amplifier I can clip on my belt and, uh, take a bone daddy microphone and my harmonicas and rip it up, you know. Man, if the punks don't like it, then fuck. I don't know. But, um, anyhow, the other cool thing that happened yesterday was I got to listen to my radio show for the first time, uh, being sick and all, lying on my couch, I could tune into turn radio, uh, at three and hear the backup show I made. Uh, so that was kind of neat hearing, hearing my radio show for the first time. I'm no, obviously no stranger to hearing my voice on record or recorded or anything like that, but it was neat. It was neat to hear. And, uh, you know, obviously I like all the music I played, so it was an hour of good music for me. <laughs> so, yeah, it was cool listening to, listening to my radio show. So, anyway, next Tuesday, um, at three, if you got the time and the, and the means, tune in to trentradio.ca. Uh, I use a, an app called Simple Radio, and uh, that that'll set up. Yeah, it's available on the Google Play app or whatever the hell. Um, helps you find small radio stations all around the world. So, and big ones too, I guess. And I'm going to be, um, I was going to do, it's a shame because I was being the release date of the record. I was going to be self-indulgent and play it, play, uh, the recording in its entirety on the show. It's kind of a record release kind of thing, but, uh, I'll do that next week. So <laughs> it's all good. Um, Holy fuck, this video is already at 8 minutes and 30, 40 seconds. That's fuck. Sorry to take up all your time, people. Um, I want to play some music, man. I've been dying to play some music. My lungs can't handle the harmonica right now. I can't sing at all. And I'm too weak to play guitar. So maybe tomorrow. Uh, as the littlest hobo said, maybe tomorrow. But uh, it's all getting well. Um, but yeah, thanks for all the subscriptions. I just bust over 200. I never never thought I'd see that day. Um, hopefully, hopefully it just keeps going. You know, the we're building a real good, solid community here, it seems. Uh, there's a real kind of new school uh depth community and kind of people surround not necessarily dippers but people who are a, a part of that community and watching videos and commenting on them and stuff like that so it's really it's really awesome mm -hmm. so I'm spitting so much fucking um <coughs> but 
yeah, I'm a man of community. I, uh, I strongly believe in a strong community. So that's pretty awesome. So thank you all very much. Um, Oak Tree Dipper just put up a great video yesterday of uh, how to save money on dip if you're an American. I say if you're an American because in Canada it, it bears no relevance to anything here. <laughs> dip costs 30 bucks a can and there's never a two-for-one special. Never a coupon, coupon discount. Never a, never a nothing. But uh, the, way I, the way I save money on dip is I... I take what I call Walt Garrison pinches. If you watch those early uh, Walt Garrison Skull commercials, he's like, just a little pinch between your cheek and gum gives you real tobacco satisfaction. And he takes a pinch like, uh, you know, like, like that size. <laughs> That's kind of how I save money on dip when I'm, when I'm out of debt and broke here in Canada. So... That's my, uh, that's my tip. <laughs> so shout out to you, Oak Tree Dipper. Um, and yeah, thanks to all, all the regulars, Louisiana Man, Louisiana Man 38, Real Talk Studios, Hillary Thompson, Hoot and Tide Dip and Chew Guy, um, Berg's Dip Reviews, Winnington Outdoors. Winnington's been putting up some great videos lately. So is Berg, so is Hoot and Tie. Suit and tie puts up a great video every day. So, no, not even a chance of there being a lack of quality on his channel, which is pretty amazing. Um, yeah, so, awesome. Anyhow, that's the Wednesday report here from Sound Kitchen Studios. I hope you're all being well, st staying free not getting sick and uh having an awesome day um be well thank you so much take care